Hey there, it's Yobo. Welcome to day 285 of life according to Yobo. No mess, no stress, no BS. It's one thing to have some mess in your life. It's another thing to have some mess with your man. Woo, Yobo telling you how to avoid all that in this series. I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? You can watch my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Get my books at YoboProductions.com. Stay right there. Pause this music. Whoa, doggy is down here getting in my way. Just a second. Picking up where we left off yesterday and the day before. I was telling you about the two women. This dog is getting on my nerves. I was telling you about two different women that I had seen on television while I was writing this book. One married the man with eight children. That's two days ago. And in yesterday's message, I told you about the woman who married a man, but his money was tied up. Translation, that fool was broke. But when you're so in love, you don't see it. Went on your first date in March, got married in April because he was a church man. He was the assistant pastor Saved as I am. Holy Ghost filled as I am. Saved don't do it for me. And I'm going to tell you why. Ladies, we do ask questions, but we ask the wrong questions. Let me give you an example. So, what sign are you? Okay, let's say he's Capricorn. 20 years ago, I could have told you what sign was compatible with Capricorn. I don't know now. But the first thing you do, you're thinking, let me see. Wow, I wonder if he's born on the cusp because I'm not compatible with Capricorn. Or you may be silly and say, ooh, we, ooh, yeah, that's real good. I am compatible with Capricorn. Let me tell you how ridiculous that is. No matter what sign he is, that don't work at the grocery store. When you pile your cart full of groceries, go to the checkout line, total everything, give you a total. You better have a checkbook. You better have a credit card, a debit card, some food stamps, or some cash. You can't stand up there and say, <laughs> well, uh, my man is a Capricorn, and they're going to let you walk right on our food for less or walk right on our tar uh, Target because your dude is a Capricorn, or a Leo, or a Scorpio. Can you see how crazy that is? You can't get a cutoff notice in the mail. And you pick up the phone, hello, hello, this is Yobo. I just got this cutoff notice, but I want to let you know, my man is an Aquarius. Oh, okay, that's fine, he's an Aquarius. Your bill better be paid tomorrow by 5 o'clock, or you... And your Aquarius dude are going to be sitting up in the dark. What I tell you, we ask questions, but we ask the wrong questions. Get back to my notes, because see, I'll go up, I'll be on another page. Ladies, if you pay attention, you won't have to ask too many questions. Just listen to what he says, but more importantly, listen to what he doesn't say. Has he ever said anything? And I'm stealing this from my friend Dwayne Shig. Has he ever said anything about how bad the traffic was on the way to work? Or has he ever said anything about how bad the traffic was on the way home from work? Has he ever said anything about how his supervisor is getting on his last nerve at work, and he's thinking about changing jobs, anything related to employment come across in his conversation, what I tell you, pay attention to what he does say. Does he say anything about spending time with his family? That is, the family is important to you. Does he say anything about his family, his mama, his sisters, his nieces, his nephews, anything? And I'm going to tell you one more thing, and it's a shame Yobo got to say it. 
Don't be messing around with a man that don't have a cell phone. Jesus. If I got to watch one more judge show and see a woman on there suing a man for an unpaid cell phone bill, what are you doing talking to a man who ain't got $40 to go to the PCS Metro store and get him a phone? Why are you involved with a joker who don't have a cell phone? A cell phone? Then you want to go off on the brother 42 days later. Oh, wait a minute. If he don't have a cell phone, what does he bring to the table other than what he got dangling between his legs? That's going to be good for the first 42 days. I already told you. 42 days, it's going to be all the cracking. But on day 43, you're going to start saying, wait a minute, something is wrong with this picture. You ain't got to wait till day 43. You better listen to Yomo on day one. He ain't got a cell phone. Now, I can see if you don't have a car. Because when I met my husband, he didn't have a car. But a cell phone. <sighs> Y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to continue in the series. I know how to act like a lady. But how do I think like a man? I'm trying to help somebody. And somebody already told me. They said, yo, Bo, this is helping me because my mother didn't tell me none of this. She told me to get a Christian man, get a saved man, and that's just what I did. And we ended up in divorce court. Come back tomorrow, y'all. Yo, Bo, love you. Bye-bye. Tell a friend about these videos. <laughs> Look at here. We gonna quit being silly women. Love y'all. Get my books at yoboproductions.com. Bye-bye.